You ready? Yeah. When did you realize that you were irregular? Um, I realized I was irregular probably over the past year. Um, I've, I've grown into my own person. Um, I've been through a lot of things um, over the past year mentally and um, I know that I don't conform to societal norms and I believe that that's what makes me regular. Okay, so I know you said you've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. Tell us one of those obstacles that you've gone through. Or do you, what do you feel like was your biggest obstacle that you faced? Um, my biggest obstacle, and I feel like a lot of us have this obstacle, is basically mental. Um, I kind of didn't like the person that I saw in the mirror. Um, and I was just going through a lot and I hated getting out of bed sometimes. But, you know, the only person that can really get yourself out of the situation is you. And um, I just decided to have a change of mindset. Um, I wanted to be a better person for me. Um, and I wanted to help other people that were kind of going through the same thing that I was going through. And so for my regular girls that are going through obstacles, you're not alone. Um, we all go through things at times, but you just can't give up because other girls are looking for you as inspiration for when, the, for when they're going through hard times as well. It's beautiful. Okay, so how do you now expose your irregular on a daily basis? Now that you're in a better space, you know who you are, your style is insane. How do you expose who you really are every day? Like, as I said before, not conforming to what society deems as normal, like, what's popular now, like, I, I believe that if you have the power to, you know, uplift other women or bring other women up or even spread knowledge to other women, you should do so. And I try to do that. I try to be positive role models for young women, especially girls that are still playing basketball today. I try to, you know, be a positive role model for them. Um, and I just expose my regular by being myself, um, being confident, um, and just helping other people the best way that I can. So what words do you live by? Um, just treating people the same way that you would want to be treated. Um, I feel like the energy and respect should be reciprocated. And as far as fashion-wise, I would probably say, um, if you want it, buy it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so if you have to look yourself in the mirror and say something to yourself and leave it right here, what would that be? Um, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the woman that you are, and I'm proud of the woman that you are becoming. And the journey doesn't stop now. Um, you've come a far, a, a long way from where you were before, and I know you probably didn't think that you would, you know, be as happy as you are. But, you know, God is still writing your story. I feel like a lot of women, when they saw this, you know, campaign, they reached out to us and we went through all types of stories. And when you reached out, mm -hmm. I had already saw your style because you shot with us a couple times prior. Mm -hmm. And your style has always been impeccable, but I felt mm -hmm. like I could see your spirit through your style. Mm -hmm. How would you explain your spirit? What is your spirit like? I have a very warm spirit, a very comforting spirit. Um, I try to just treat people right and do right by people. Um, I love everyone around me. I love people that have a story to tell. Um, and I just try to help people just the best way that I can. And I kind of have like the 90s vibe with me. Like, um, I just, I don't know, I'm just like my own person. And I just believe in just helping people the best way that I can. Even if I don't have all the answers myself, you know, I still try to help others. Mm -hmm. That's dope. And I know that you played basketball for a while. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that because we saw it tatted on you. We got to mm -hmm. show that. Like, tell us about your basketball career. Basketball was probably one of the hardest things I had to walk away from because it's something that I've done my entire life and it was the only thing that I knew for my entire life and you know this is the way that I received my academic scholarship um, and it just really brought me through a lot mentally and it wasn't until my last year of college where I really started to figure things out and that's what I mean I started to grow into my own woman and um, it was probably my last couple of months of basketball where I just put the naysayers and the negative thoughts from around me. I tried to remove negative people from around me 
and just try to be the best version of myself. And once I did that, it's just like everything just started working like clockwork. And finally, I guess retiring from basketball, it wasn't hard to actually walk away, but the decision to actually walk away, the, the process of making the decision was kind of tough. But I've been happy. Um, I still love the game of basketball. I still watch basketball. I'm still connected through, with all my friends through basketball. And I still watch it. So um, I still love the game. But as far as playing, no, I don't play basketball anymore. But I'm happy, though. You sound happy. I can hear it in your voice. I can hear it in your, your journey. So I'm just excited to see what you have coming next. So we're just excited to be a part of the growth of my Kia right now with this exposure irregular collaboration. Mm -hmm. So what can you tell your followers and all the people that's interested in you and, and want to get to know you now after seeing this? What can you tell them to expect from your new collection with us? Well, if you know me, I like to be different and stand out from everyone else. And this collection shows skin and it shows your physique and you can dress it up classy, you can wear it to the club. Um, and this is for all my women that like to just be different and, you know, dare to be different per se. And I can't wait for y'all to see it because I'm excited. I know Jess is excited. I'm just glad to be a part of this campaign. Awesome. Well, they will see it soon. I'm so excited. I can't wait for y'all to see it. Y'all gonna love it. And the lead pushed up to 12 now. Into the quarter. Good! Well, she made him from about six feet behind the line. She just moved it out to 10. Mikea Jones ends the quarter with an exclamation point.